What is up you guys, girls, gays, and nays? Welcome to The Sims 4. Today we are going to be doing a Christmas speed build and I cannot tell you how excited I am. It's going to make my little Christmas heart explode with joy. We are in Brindleton Bay. I picked the lot across from the Hecking household. Just renamed it Winterfest and if you want to download this build you can find me on the gallery at babyjoe 2017 and with that let's get started so i knew going into this christmas build that i wanted the entrance to the to be the big hurrah in this house when you walked in i wanted there to be a grand staircase and a huge christmas tree so i do this build differently than most of my other builds i i build it room by room so instead of doing the outside shell and then figuring out the floor plan, I'll start with the entrance and then I'll add the living and the kitchen and the dining, so on and so forth. And that's just what you're seeing here is the entrance to the home. It is grand and then the living room is to the left. I do stretch it out and then the kitchen is on the right with the dining attached to the back. There is also on the first floor a mudroom, two full baths, two cut through hallways, um, and the master bedroom as well. Now these stairs do change, so that's not the final staircase. It drove me up a wall. I knew I wanted two archways on either side of the staircase when you walked in, and the base game archways the stairs were in the way because I wanted a large archway in the middle of those three. A two two tile arch and a three tile wall is what I wanted in the middle. And the stairs were not giving me that. So I went upstairs because I got mad. I did the upstairs floor plan. Upstairs there's four beds, two baths. And I knew I also wanted to be able to see the door from the stairs. So you will see me peek down to make sure I'm able to see it in a second right there. Um, so this house is massive, just keep that in mind. And that is the finished staircase right there. Um, I just extended the staircase, I believe, to be four tiles. I, I don't know, I can't see and I don't remember, to be honest. Um, and then I put the archways in the center. Now, I am leaving this little clip of the roof in because I wanted to show you what the roof starts out like compared to what it ends like, which is not even this clip. It's going to be like at the end of the video. So this house went through so many changes, but I wanted to show you guys the process. In this build, I did use four, technically three packs. I used Cats and Dogs, Seasons, Base Game, and the Holiday Kit that comes with Base Game. The reason I did that, Base Game had the Holiday Kit, so I had to use that, and Base Game is just, obviously you use it. <laughs> um, let's see cats and dogs i love brindleton bay it's the most christmasy to me and i don't know why that's why i chose that one and then the seasons i picked because obviously you get all the christmas stuff during the holiday season now here you see me working on the outside and more of the landscape of the house i did already put these trees in and the bushes around the house i felt like y'all didn't really need to see that bit but I have these two front gardens. We do have a front terrain path and a little back porch area. Uh, this, I believe, is the final rendition of that roof with that overhang bit. I did love that. It was super cute. I'm glad I did it. I've never done it that way before. And here you just see me putting in that little walkway and kind of shadowing and edging the terrain paint of the build. If it doesn't have terrain paint for me, it doesn't look realistic or as realistic as it can in the sims 4 it feels weird i just don't like it so i always have to add terrain paint i feel like i've said that eight times and we're about to pop inside i'm gonna go ahead and put the floor down i do use the same floor throughout the whole home um yes right here it is a dark wood floor base game with just a cream wall it's in all my builds right now and here is the kitchen with the kitchen, I knew I wanted an island in there. I didn't know how big, so I do play around with it. I do a one row, a two row. I try a stove in the middle. Uh, the reason I didn't like the two row is because I only left that one row against the counter and the stove I didn't like because it did have that back like lid 
on it, I guess you could say, that come up off of it. Now, if I was to use Snowy Escape Stove, I could put it in the island and it wouldn't, it would just be a flat surface all the way across. Here is the never ending living room. Um, it changes three times. The first rendition is right here. It has navy blue couches with a baby fireplace. And then the second rendition is going to be uh, beige couches, I believe. Yes, with a rug, a coffee table, fireplace. And then the third rendition you will see toward more the end. All the bathrooms in this house are the same. There are four full bathrooms in this home. I'm so sorry. <laughs> they all have tub, shower, sink, and toilet. The only differences are like the colors of the rugs and the hand towels. I think I have a yellow, a blue, a teal, and maybe another color, I'm not sure. Here is the four bedrooms upstairs. There are two teens. Uh, two full-size beds for them, a kid's bedroom, and a guest bedroom as well. So this house, massive. Putting in a toddler potty so I didn't forget. And this is where we kind of work on the back of the house. Um, I think I have to replace those lights. I believe they are, are in city living. So if they're gone in the walkthrough, that's why. <laughs> But here, I'm just moving stuff around to where I like it. I kind of hid the garbage cans a little bit. Uh, there are some flower pots around the side of the house. This house is full of activities. Again, we'll show that when we get into the walkthrough. And here, I'm just sprucing up the terrain paint, as you can see. And I actually go in and work on flooring for the bathroom. Now, I do, again, change this, I believe. Or do I keep that one? I may keep that one. We'll see. I know I used the one from Desert Oasis. And I was like, oops, can't do that one. I, only re I restricted myself. So I believe I wound up using a base game. But that could have been where I did change them. Anyways, just changing the curtains. I put all those skinny little curtains around the house. Wound up not liking them. Replaced them with these cute little tie back curtains. And just the full length ones as well. I just wanted to add this one clip in here for proof that I did add a mailbox. There is also a kitchen trash. I'm the world's worst at forgetting those. Um, here we are just kind of sprucing up the rooms, putting in tables and toys in the kids room. I believe I do a photo collage. Oh, I do the master bed first. Do I? Yes. I had, you guys, I had so much fun. This isn't even Christmas related, and I just had fun decorating this bedroom, and I have no idea why. But um, they do have an ensuite, so they do have a walk in bathroom, but they do not have a closet, so you just see me putting clothes there and the nightstands I fell in love with. I just cluttered them. Precious. Here's the first Christmas tree. Yes, I say first because this house does have a total of three. Um, I told you guys, it's a Christmas home. I went crazy. Here you can see me just popping wreaths around the house. I put them on all the windows. There's much more to come. Um, this is, that's just what I seen right there. So I was like, gotta get it. I just got way too excited. So here you see me go ahead and find a coffee table for the living room and start on the wall shelves. Now this fills up way more like down toward the bottom as well. I just put these cute little train cars collectibles that I don't use a whole lot. And I don't know why, but tr trains give me Christmas vibes. So I put those up there and like some boats. Here, I'm just going around putting art everywhere. There's lots of empty walls, floor space. So I try to fill as much as that, much of that as I can with art without going obnoxiously crazy as well as rugs. I did put a lot of rugs too down in this build just to make it look more full. Now, some of this artwork does change. Not the artwork itself, I should say just like the area. I moved some stuff around. I think I put like a couple pictures in one of the kids' rooms um, or a picture in the kids' room and just rearrange up there. But I love these candles down here, super Christmassy. I did try on these end tables to put like some night, night lights, some table lamps, night lights? table lamps but wound up not liking it and this is the more filled out version of the living area this is more the final version nope not yet almost final version of the living room and here you can just see me putting stuff 
clutter items, some perfume in one of the teens' rooms. And then I go to the other one and I put some shirts and everybody's got a backpack. And I do spruce up the kids' room a little bit just because this wall, yes, that wall is so empty. So this is where I do that little photo collage at. It turned out super cute. I've never done one of these with a kids' room. Love it. But this is where you can also see the colors of the bathroom kind of come together. This one was the yellow bathroom, obviously. <laughs> and then I have, like I said, blue, teal, and something else. I'm not sure. Purple, teal? I don't know. I don't, I'm, we'll see in the walkthrough. And so this chess table, I moved it all around. Didn't like the chairs. Changed the chairs. Actually wound up changing the whole dining room to match those chairs. And then I was like, you know what? I need another Christmas tree. So here is Christmas tree number two for this home. I wanted more of a classy tr Christmas tree up here since it was just for looks instead of being used. I wouldn't think you'd go upstairs to open presents. Here are all the activities that we have in the home. We have violin, uh, easel, telescope, flower pots. The kids have a jungle gym outside plenty to do there's a radio of course tv and here you just see me kind of clutter in the kitchen to make it look more in order but also cluttered if that makes any sense <laughs> and this is where we start to go into the final version of the living room in just a second as soon as i get that cookie plate <laughs> together uh you can see that i deleted that side couch and i put two armchairs instead and then I filled more space out with the end tables. I use the same furniture kind of throughout the whole house and just kind of fill in empty spaces now with plants and more Christmas stuff. Find a ton of Christmas stuff in the holiday kit. Um, you can see I put some stars dangling above those daggum archways <laughs> and just popping some wreaths around the home and some decals on the windows. These little snow guys made my heart scream when I found them. You guys, like I said, I, oops, I don't decorate for Christmas in The Sims, like when I'm doing gameplay. So this build, I found so much stuff that I didn't even know we had. I was super excited. Like, I, I knew we had these trees, but I never used those trees. And these uh, pre-strung light trees were perfect for this build. Um, and then here I just go around the house and I actually find a door wreath as well that I'll put around the doors and the windows. Now that is not the final version of the dining room. I will show you that in the walkthrough. But first I'm just going to go ahead and finish popping all my little Christmas decor around. If you did stay this long, please let me know in the comments how you like this video. Even put a little secret elephant emoji or something in the comments so I did know you stayed this long. But yeah, this is pretty much it. We'll go through real quick and I will show you guys the last little bits and bobs in the walkthrough. And welcome to the Christmas house. Isn't she so precious? I love her so much. So this is the outside of the house. You can see the little snow pals, the, the pre-strung light trees. Over here I have a little sneaky bird bath as well as a bike. Ah, that's the entrance that I wanted. This is, this is it you guys. This is the Christmas home. You can see all the garland dangling from the back archways and in the kitchen. There's the Christmas tree. Oh, upstairs. Look at it. I'm in love you guys. I'm in love. We have the little tables over here. I did forget to mention that I bumped the living room, living room down one platform beautiful here's that little in and out hallway and then over here we will go into the kitchen oh look how wintry it looks i'm so excited there is that trash can all the little goodies and the dining room isn't she lovely all right you go past the dining room you see the full archway into the other hallway as well as the third christmas tree and let's see bookshelf just a little in and out hallway 
And then this is the first full bath. This is that teal color. If you come out of this one and then this way, little mud entrance. You got little decorations, little odds and ends. You will make your way into the master bedroom. Ah, oh, she's beautiful. And to the left of the master bedroom is the master bath. Okay, so I use more of like a, just a different blue in here. Very pretty. And out of here we go. And I believe that is it. Look at all the Christmas trees on the first floor. Look how good. Oh, I should have dangled something from there, you guys. Dang it. All right. And we are upstairs. You walk up the stairs. Beautiful, stunning Christmas tree. You go to the right. Here is the artwork that kind of changed. We There is the painting easel. Oh, I do have a kid's scout board in here as well. First door, we have a teen's room. Very simple. They like fashion. Second, I believe it's just a full bath. Yep, there is the yellow bath. I figured, you know, it's upstairs. It's the kids. It's fine. And the kids' bedroom. Cute. And to the, what is this? The left side? The right side? I don't, left or right? You have a bonsai tree. That is another activity we have. Chess table. There's that artwork I moved around. The first door dun, 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 is the guest bedroom. Very simple. No artwork. I forgot. You can decorate it as you please, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, middle room is going to be the bathroom. Just a different shade of blue. Use that teal again. And chest table. And then last bedroom is going to be more blue. Just some odds and ends and a cool little space poster. And here is your back porch. You have a little sitting area with a beautiful garland around the door frame. You have a grill out here, little snow buddies. You do have a radio. I did make sure it was, is that covered? Yes, yes, the radio is covered right there. That You have the post. They just go in and out with a camera you have the kids jungle gym telescope flower pots you do have your outside garbages over here and if you want to look downstairs from upstairs which is obviously the best view oh isn't that beautiful isn't that so christmasy i mean it's not as christmasy as it even could be i couldn't like there could be so much more but isn't that beautiful but anyways, you guys, that is the walkthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe, turn the notification bell on next time I upload a video, you'll get a notification. And again, don't forget about the elephant comment. That way I know who listened the whole way. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!